Hello everyone, and welcome back to JB's Total Gaming, and if you've been paying attention to the channel, you probably know that I really like Overwatch. However, I have a problem with this game. Very few people seem to want to play support and tank classes, or certain heroes, because they might be a little bit trickier to play. And I know a lot of that has to do with the game uh, freshly coming out now, and people not being very experienced. But I had a game recently where we were playing on a map where we had to push the payload, and we had the two different snipers, and then several other you know high damage focus attack characters. We did thankfully have one person who was uh, playing Mercy as a healer, but no tanks, no anything, and I mean, we, we got wrecked. And this is a game all about teamwork, all about playing the objective, and about being willing to change up your characters. You don't main in this game. You don't have a character you play all the time. Because if you do that, well, you're going to lose. You need to understand the situations and the characters. So what I want to do with this video, and maybe a few other ones, is talk about some of the characters I don't see played as much. And right now we're going to deal with Zarya. So Zarya can give shield. So you'll see at some points me either putting up a shield around myself or hitting the E button to put it up around an ally. Now, here's the thing with these shields. They're pretty neat because as they take damage, they make my weapon do more damage, whether my shield is on an ally or me, and I can have both up at the same time. There's a few things to keep in mind. The shields last a very, very short period of time. So a key thing, a lot of new Zarya players tend to, oh, they see an ally and they put up the shield and then it's down before they engage with the enemy. You want to wait to use these shields until your ally or you are about to take damage or already engage with an enemy so that they're getting the protection and you get that boost because it doesn't last very long. And that's really the key thing. And the weapon does have two different uh, modes of fire. So there is the laser that's a constant beam that's close up. And you'll notice the weapon itself, actually, that kind of glowing ball there, it gets bigger as you um, your shields on your ally, so, or on you, whenever they take damage, you do more damage. So here, there, there's some shots there with the thing that's almost like a grenade launcher. It does arc, it does do area effect, but it you know does have drop off when you fire it. So um, it, it is a pretty versatile weapon. But like I said, know when to put the shields up. And you can see that ball now is, is quite a bit bigger than when it started, and I'm doing more damage because of that. And you can see on this map here, when I started this video, the enemy, I believe, was at 99% and was about to win the game. And we come on, and for quite a long time here, we just hold this point, and we do end up... Uh, winning this and we win it in large parts and I'm not saying because of me but I'm playing a tank that can take a bunch of damage notice I stay on the point and don't die during this we have a Zenyatta who's doing healing and this is kind of a good example of the sort of things you need to do in order to win you need to be aware of the situation and it is something that can be a little bit intimidating when you first get in the game but you can learn pretty quickly how you want to work things and by having a healer making sure people are alive on the point you know, having a tank that can take damage, and then also Zarya can really deal out some damage, especially when that weapon is buffed up. And if you can keep going for a while, get those shields up when people are taking damage, whether it be your allies or you, you can just do a ton of damage. And there we see Zanyata using the Transcendence Heal. And you see, I'm taking people out pretty quickly up close with that beam. And, you know, Long Range Weapon doesn't do bad either. So there's the kill streak, and we do end up lasting on this point for a long time. So this is a really good example of people playing characters that are heroes that are going to work for the situation. And that's something you're going to want to do. Now, over time, eventually, that weapon does calm down if I'm not taking damage on the shields, or my allies taking damage with the shields. But, you know, you'll be able to build it back up again by using the shields effectively again. And, and this is a big thing. Overwatch is a game about playing the objective, working as a team, and being willing to change your heroes. You do not main in this game. You don't play one person every game all the time. You have to be aware of the situation. I also left this in here to show you just how much, I mean, damage Zarya can do. You see that I get to a five-player kill streak pretty quick. This is me coming out of the spawn getting the five kills pretty quickly with the team working together and whatnot. So the keys to Zarya, uh, be sure to use the shields not too early, but when somebody's about to take damage or already taking damage, whether it be you or an ally. Build that up. Know when to use your alternate fire when people are further away and when to switch to that close range and when to, you know, really go in. And because you can just up close and just 
kill people incredibly incredibly quick not as quick as bastion maybe but still really quick and take a lot of damage when i first played zarya the first couple of times i really didn't uh like playing as her very much but once i kind of got used to it and i decided i really like that seems to happen with pretty much all the heroes once i get used to kind of what i'm supposed to do and it does take a few games with a lot of the heroes then all of a sudden it starts making sense and heroes become fun to play so this is me encouraging people to be willing to try different heroes to change up during the game based on the situation and it really isn't that difficult to figure out you know what sort of heroes you need in certain situations or what to change to it's okay to have two healers on a team it's okay to have multiple tanks that's all right you so, you know and at the same time it's okay uh to have different compositions depending on what the enemy has and what the objective is but my big keys for zarya you know don't don't jump and see here's me rushing in against a bastion bad idea you can't uh, go damage for damage and then you see that shield doesn't last very long so I get the shield up I take damage but I needed to get out of there and not charge headlong so there's a mistake for you to see but remember put those shields up wait for it for the opportune moment and you can really do a lot of damage and have a lot of fun playing Zarya so there's one of the heroes I feel like I'd like to see more people play in Overwatch and hopefully this will help interest you in playing more heroes and mixing things up as you play the game thanks a lot for watching and we'll be back with more content soon